Hey everyone, Jason Boone here from premiumbeat.com. Hope you're having a good day. Today I have a really, really useful tutorial for you. I was editing last week and I started to realize how often I was using the Alt key for shortcuts that were really saving me a lot of time, these power shortcuts that I use really on a day-to-day -day basis. I thought, you know, this would be a great idea for a tutorial, so I started writing out a list of all the ways I use the Alt key. And I was really, really surprised at how long this list became and how often I use this key for powerful shortcuts and really useful ways that save me a lot of time in the editing process. So let me share with you some of my favorites. First thing I use the Alt key for is to isolate either video or audio in a linked clip. Now, as most of you probably know, if you bring a video clip into your timeline that has audio on it, it's gonna bring it in as a linked clip. And you have your video layer and your audio layer. And if you're gonna do any kind of trims or anything, the video and audio go together. Now, if you wanna isolate one of the two, you can simply hold the Alt key and select either the video or the audio. And the same goes with the trimming. If you want to trim either the video or the audio, just hold the Alt key while you are doing the trim. And the good thing is, is that this link stays intact. So if we're going to trim just the video, then if we go back later and try to trim this clip, it's going to trim it as a linked clip still. Whereas in another way you could do this is you could unlink the file and then you don't have to hold the Alt key, but the problem is, if you go to move these later, you could easily throw them out of sync. So let me undo that. And a quick way to tell that if a video and audio clip are linked together is if you look here at the V and the A on the clip, if it has, if it has brackets on it, that means it's they're linked together. Okay, for my second tip, I'm gonna show you how you can duplicate using the Alt key. Really, really powerful, simple little shortcut. So if I select the clip here, and then I hold Alt as I move it, it's going to duplicate it. Now you can combine the first shortcut with this. Now if I were to hold Alt before I grabbed the clip here, it's going to grab, it's going to isolate, and then if I hold the Alt key and keep holding it, it's going to duplicate it. And I can do that with the audio as well. Now again, it just depends on whether you want a linked clip as your duplicate or if you want an unlinked. These are the clips that I isolated first and then duplicated and these are not linked. Okay, for the third tip, I'm gonna show you how to do a rearrange edit. This is more of an advanced kind of edit here, but once you start to use this, it's, it's, a, it's gonna save you a ton of time. So let's say we're in a scenario where we wanna move this clip and we want, it to, we want to just basically rearrange these two. We want this to begin here, let's actually get rid of these gaps here. So we want this clip here to go at the beginning. And what we could do is we could grab this clip, move it down here, and then hold the Command key or the Windows key to do a simple insert. Now let me undo that. Now take a watch our watch our icon here, our mouse as we hover over. So that's basically that's the symbol for overwrite. If I were to let it go right now, it's just going to do an overwrite edit. If I hold the Command key, it's going to do an insert edit. But if I hold the Alt key with the Command key, you're going to see a new symbol there, and that's the Rearrange Edit. So if I release there, now what that does is that basically does an Insert and Ripple Edit all at the same time. So let's undo that, do it again. So again, this is a simple insert, and it keeps your gap there. It's going to, it's going to shuffle everything down. And if we had a bunch of stuff on this timeline, it would move everything down. So let's undo that again, and let's perform it again. I do the insert, holding command, and then hold alt, and that's going to rearrange. Now, just be careful with the rearrange edit, because if you have a bunch of different media assets all th throughout the timeline on different tracks, you can really easily throw something out of sync. So just be aware of what you're doing and make sure you have the proper audio and video tracks synced up together. Okay, for the next tip, I'm going to show you how to do a quick ripple delete. Now ripple delete, let's say we just wanted to delete one of these clips. I want to delete this clip here so I could simply select the clip, delete it, and then I have this gap here, select the gap, and then delete that. So that was two movements there. So let's undo that. 
I just select this and then I hold the Alt key and then delete it, it's going to automatically ripple delete. So it's very, very useful, save you a lot of time. Okay, so I'll undo that. Now, the fifth tip I want to show you is the replace. Now, this is, again, this is another advanced, more I would say more of an advanced trick, but super useful if you're swapping clips out. So, okay, let's see what we got on our timeline here. We've got this clip of this boat moving by here. Now, let's say we want to replace it with this clip here. So what we could do, initially, we could insert, edit, grab this other clip, the old one, and then do a ripple delete, alt delete. But a much faster way we can do that, so let's undo those two movements. Much faster way is we could just grab this clip, and if we hover over here, you can see, we can either put it on this track above, we can overwrite or insert, but if we hold just the alt key, when I hold the alt key, you're gonna see it has a new icon here that's basically just highlighting these different clips. And if I release here, there we go, it replaced that clip. So let me undo, and we look at our program monitor here when I undo, undo, and that's the other clip. Now I'm gonna redo it, there you go. So that is the replace shortcut. Now another quick tip, and this is, this is my last tip here, and this is probably the one I use the most. So we have a title here that I've created, it just says Bruges. So now let's bring this down here. Now let's say we're making a bunch of titles and we want them to be all in the same style. Let's say we would want, we want a title over each of these clips and we want them all in the same font, but we're just gonna have to change them to different words. So what we could do is we could open our title designer here and there's a little button over here that says new title based on current title. We could click that or the shortcut is to simply do a duplicate with the alt key on the timeline. So if you hold alt, click and drag, bring it over here, you're gonna see here that this says Bruges copy 01. This is Bruges, this is Bruges copy 01. So it copied, it basically is the same as clicking this button here, new title based on current title. So now if we go over here, we're gonna see it's the same, but then if we go and change it, there we go. And that's a very, very fast way. As I said before, I use this a lot. If I'm putting titles over different parts of my timeline and then I wanna keep that same font and size, you can just simply alt drag, alt drag, and keep, keep uh, creating new titles. So again, saves you a lot of time. Then you may just need to go back and rename them up in here in your project panel. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and be sure to check out Premium Beat for high quality, royalty-free music and sound effects for all of your media and video projects.